Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Welcome back. It's always a pleasure to see you. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. So, this session, well, it's been a very busy day, exciting day as we celebrated the captain, the commander, Mr. Pull the Trigger himself. And thank God for all that he's granted us the permission to do today. Well, I just want to quickly drop by and share my experience with those who take it upon themselves to come and respond. Each time I make a comment in most of Prophex's videos or posts on Facebook, there are some some comment police who show up. I don't think I see them attack other people the way they do at me, which is fine. I'm a special person. I'm unique and I love it. And by the grace of God, I have been able to respond to them and just put them where they belong. Anyways, there are certain people who just think that it's their right, it's their duty. I'm not sure who died and made them the comments police, but let me just let them know that it is not their business who I choose to follow, support, work with. I do not know how my working with prophets, supporting prophets, and fighting for justice for Ruth Matthew and for us to find baby testimony. I do not know how it hurts anybody, but it just beats my imagination. Because one thing I have done to some of those people, I have deliberately gone to look at their profiles. Trust me, some of them are purely fake accounts, but the few whose accounts I believe are uh, uh, real accounts. The sad thing, the thing that makes it really sad about the way they come is the fact that they are members of some of the biggest shrines in Nigeria. They are slaves to the gods of men who own the largest shrines. And it, I'm, I'm just perplexed at the fact that is this what those gods of men that people would want to call fathers of faith? Well, thank God, not the faith I have in the God of creation. But I'm sure there is a, a, a different faith that they're fathers of. How do you feel comfortable to come in the comments and insult and abuse people freely it doesn't matter if you don't know them what training or bringing did you have with your parents that you if you come you think it's well within my right the person hasn't said anything against you against your god of man the the, the, the man the one who's your slave master you just come and you're comfortable and there was one who pointed, who said, well, when he came attacking me, there were some people who came and gave them. And one of those guys, fortunately, well, fortunately or unfortunately, the way he spoke, his, his comments indicated that he didn't believe in God. And this so-called person, I'm going to mention his name. His name is Godwin Boniface on Facebook. He came and said, look at you. These are the kind of people you're encouraging that are supporting you. And this, we, 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 we. Oh. so I said to him, you who know God very much, this behavior of yours, accusing, attacking, abusing them, raining curses on them, applause for you, because that's the way you're going to win them to God, to this so-called God on whose behalf you think you're fighting. For goodness sake, guys, 
that we do not agree doesn't make us enemies. I have said this before in one of my previous videos. We are all children of God. Even those people who, who are not believers of God, those who claim to know that there is no God, everyone on the planet is a child of God. And that is where I, 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 by the grace of God, I ask God to help me to relate with everybody. We do not have to agree. We do not have to see eye to eye. That doesn't make you my enemy. That I do not know you in the comments, that I do not see you physically, doesn't mean I should use mean, nasty, hurtful words at you. By the grace of God, I, I, I try to respond maturely, sensibly, and, and be mindful of the words I say. And I try to pre present God to those people. Because people like that bonny face person creature does not know God. He is a church goer. He goes to warm the bench in the church. He has no relationship with Jesus Christ. Because if he, he knows the Jesus Christ that I know, he will not come and attack me. I haven't done anything to him, neither has anybody else. One of the little girls who was supporting him earlier on today, she came and said uh, things along the line that I want perfect as my whatever lover and all that. So all of us around the world, who are speaking, supporting Profex with Ruth Matthews' course. I don't know, Profex, be ready, please, because there are so many women you're going to marry and you'll be worse than King Solomon who had 300 wives and 700 concubines or the other way around, however it is. You're going to be worse than him because I'm sure the wives you would have will be over billions. And I don't know, you would need like... 60,000 lifetimes to be able to attend to all of us. But that little girl came and said that, I just responded to her that her, her jealousy that Profex would never, she would never be enough for Profex. And she came back saying that, oh, the name you have on here sounds like the place I come from, so I am not going to exchange words with you. But I told her, stop, please carry on. Do not stop, continue, please, I am loving it. Don't go and hide under anything because you know me so well. So you know me completely. You know where I live, you know my name, you know my family. So you can abuse me. Don't stop, please. So this is a direct message to all those people. YouTube, Facebook, I've not seen those kind of foolishness in, on Instagram yet or on TikTok. Yes, you'll be, you'll be glad to know that I am on TikTok too. <laughs> We've got to spread the word of God everywhere, guys. The devil is taking over everything. Let us not be shy. Go, make your presence known as well. I know we get restricted because the views on the videos I post daily, the positive word, they don't get so much. But it doesn't matter if nobody sees it now. One day they will be there, that someone will find them. So let's make our mark. Where the, please let us just exercise patience. Let us think about what would Jesus do? Let us think about that in our interaction. I know sometimes we get into the heat of the moment. We get so all angered because of what we see, what we hear. Doesn't matter. Sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Guys, remember that. One, the, the guy, the, the Godwin Boniface guy, what he's, one of the things he said today was, I thought, oh yeah, on Prophet's birthday post, I said, a true servant of God who's work, working on behalf of humanity, something along the lines I said. And he said, oh, I think if I think that 
prophet is a servant of God. I need the doctor's attention. And I told him that he was given a few hours to come and to come out of the place where he was being held. And he spent, look at what he's wasting the time on, on social media talking nonsense. He better go say hello to his loved ones before he's uncuffed back to his holding cell in a psychiatric psychiatric hospital. So that's what I said to him. Because some of these people, I do not think that they are well. If you're educated, civilized, exposed, matured, you call yourself a child of God and you could show up on social media and represent this God that you claim to serve the way you do. You belong in a psychiatric home, a mental ward sectioned until the end of your life. Because no child of God will feel comfortable hurling insults, cursing, abusing people they do not know anything about. But thank God, because they are dealing with the very wrongest person. I know who I am in Christ Jesus and in myself as a human being. So, yes, that's a little report I wanted to drop by today. If there are mean, evil people out there who have gone into the churches. They are going there. They, they, they will be very busy. And if we go closely and investigate, we will find that these people have titles in their shrines that they attend. But they will come and feel so at ease. <sighs> I cringe at how they are able to do that. So that's my experience. I know it's I'm, it's not going to be the last. It will continue. But I am not bothered. <laughs> Nothing is wrong here. I am perfectly fine. So I thank you for joining me. It's always a pleasure to see you. I appreciate all the subscriptions, the likes, the love. And thank everybody for help for joining us to celebrate our beloved brother, Prof. X. It was a grand occasion. And we just thank God for everything. God bless you.